Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. Illinois coming off their Supreme Court upholding their assault weapon ban just signed another gun control act into law, the Firearm Industry Responsibility Act, which opens the door for lawsuits if you do not follow a load of vague nonsense. The first point it makes is that it is unlawful for firearm industry members to create, maintain, or contribute to a condition that endangers the safety or health of the public, including failing to establish reasonable controls to prevent straw purchases. For politicians touting this bill, sticking it to the firearm industry, you may imagine it is about large companies, but this provision is strictly targeting individual federal firearms license holders because the large companies do not interact in direct sales to the public. Straw purchases are already illegal, but now they can punish an FFO holder if someone lies to them on a federal form and they were supposed to know, I guess. It also says that these firearm industry members, mostly FFL holders still, must also have reasonable controls to prevent theft of their firearms, which is already in their best interest and sounds a bit like victim blaming to me. It also says you must comply with local, state, and federal law. That's right, a portion of this act literally says follow the law or you may be punished. Really, really good work there, guys. It also prohibits advertising, marketing, or promoting firearm-related products in a manner that reasonably appears to support, recommend, or encourage individuals to engage in unlawful paramilitary or private militia activity. They are coming for your LARP. No, uh, I'm not exactly certain what they mean here, but given that they used the excuse of an illegal paramilitary group to shut down a guy's personal range in Vermont recently, this may be a hammer they can wield to shut down you and your buddies if you are training on your personal property. The act also prohibits the same advertising, marketing, etc. to minors. Here meaning under the age of 18, since now I have to clarify it because so often they mean 21. And to determine what reasonably appears to support, the court shall consider the totality of the circumstances, including, but not limited to, whether the marketing, advertising, promotion, design, or sale uses caricatures that reasonably appear to be minors or cartoon characters, offer brand name merchandise for minors, including clothing, toys, games, or stuffed animals, I guess offering a browning youth hoodie is now a heinous crime, offers firearm-related products in sizes, colors, or designs specifically designed to be used by or appeal to minors. So there apparently cannot be an overlap between things a minor may find desirable and an adult. So all you weebs, women, and bronies back off is part of a marketing campaign designed to appeal to minors, which seems redundant, uses depictions of minors in ads or marketing, or is placed in a publication created for purpose of reaching audience predominantly composed of minors. Though after all this, it says it does not apply to communications regarding lawful recreational activity such as shooting at targets, hunting, trapping, or fishing. And that makes this whole thing stupid, because if it's about a child hunting, it would show a child with a rifle, or even target shooting. So if you're shooting, are you assuming it's illegal shooting unless they show a target or animal? What is the advertising they are afraid of? Well, we have Don Harmon, Senate Democrat, with an example. The JR-15. The same ad Nancy Pelosi showed off in Congress when passing their assault weapon ban. However, it distinctly and clearly says on the ad, 
get them one like yours. So that's clearly marketed to adults in order to purchase for their children, which is still not unlawful under this act. It is a rifle intended for children, but the advertising is very clearly telling adults, hey, buy this for your child. And yes, it says it's smaller and lighter. Again, things a parent would be considering. This whole act is the shortest piece of legislation I've read for this channel, so there is that, but it is a load of garbage. It's vague and overbroad, another government to overreach and a desperate attempt to tell the people that they have done something in regards to gun control, even though Illinois has already done way too much. But that's all for today. Thanks for stopping by and staying until the end. If you like this content, please consider supporting me on Patreon, subscribing to the channel, joining the Discord, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.